Mm -hmm. Colorado's water supply levels are below their capacity levels. But experts say no time to panic just yet. We all know there are a lot of snowy months ahead of us. Alan Janae has been looking into this foresight. Alan, this week's storm will hopefully kick things off. Let's keep our fingers crossed on this one, Karen. You know, as we wait for snow in Denver, the people who work on Colorado's water supplies are more concerned about snow where it matters more. The mountains, where our snowpack is, where our reservoirs get filled. While we're thinking about the short term right now, they're thinking about the long term. Any dry Pestilin reservoir these days means looking at low levels that may seem to be a bad sign, but it's not unusual. Our reservoir storage is about where it usually is this time of year. Drawn down to make room for replenishment, hopefully. So when it comes to snow, the mountains serve as a giant reservoir. It, it holds it frozen for four, five, six months, and then it slowly runs off. At least that's the way it's traditionally been. But things have changed, says Denver Water's Todd Hartman. The spring runoff is coming sooner, so we have to be prepared to capture that water sooner. It's going to run off the mountains quicker. All of our water supply planning factors in climate change. Along with growing population, it means more storage need as people sense short-term trouble in places like northern Colorado. A few weeks of a dry fall got a lot of people's attention, but what we're looking at is uh, a decades-long drought on the Colorado River. Weather that has brought fires and later snow means more water use. So folks are using water to irrigate their lawn and their trees for a longer period of time. Uh, that makes overall water use go up. While figuring something less reliable. The predictability, the year-to-year -year kind of traditional uh, patterns that I think we saw for a lot of the 20th century are changing, and, and every year is a little less predictable. So right now, Denver Water's reservoirs are system-wide at about 84% of their capacity. Dillon Reservoir is a little bit lower. Experts say that our climate change, our reduction or raising of our heat by two degrees over the past 30 years, uh, 30 years, that should be, uh, has resulted in more extreme events. Not only those drought-like activities, more fires and things like that, but also potentially more heavy rain events. When it falls on snowpack, that can actually increase the flooding risk. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.